Well, starting, uh, I guess this will be practice eight. First real full scrimmage that we got. Uh, we get three of them. This is one of them. And uh, excited to see what our guys bring to the table tonight. We've had really seven really good practices. Uh, you know, both sides of the ball really, really benefiting, uh, iron sharpening iron, so to speak. And uh, I'm excited to, to see what these guys are going to bring to the table tonight and the energy level um, that, uh, that, that we're going to be able to show out here tonight in our Friday Night Lights setting. What part of your team have you seen the most improvement in this spring since you started these workouts? Well, I, I defensively. I, I think overall defensively. And it's really not a certain position more than it is a uh, just an overall unit standpoint. These guys have done a great job of pursuing to the football. They've done a great job of, of picking up on, on the, the installs, uh, building again. And you would expect that being in the year three into a system and, and having the same coaching staff um, that's really carried carried suit and carried through, and so learning the terminology there is uh, uh, that's that's a small learning curve now. So you're really able to focus in on the dynamics, the techniques, and uh, uh, but our defense has really really improved. Uh, we've improved in all areas, but that's that's one of the biggest ones. The scrimmage kind of setting you mentioned the first one. What do you want to get out of them here that uh, or do here that they haven't done in the first set practices? Well, I, I want to see them continue to compete at the level they've been at. Uh, we've had uh, we've had had seven really good practices of really competing against each other, and we've had some live situations. But as far as live, uh, an entire practice live, we have not had that. But uh, I'm excited to see how these guys are going to respond tonight. Your newcomers who got here in January, Raymond Epps, DJ Gillins, Elijah McQueen. How are they coming along? in the process of just learning the basics of what you and your staff want from them. Yeah, well, I think start with DJ. Obviously, DJ provides us such great depth at quarterback position right now, much needed depth that we have. Uh, coming off a, a knee injury, but uh, he's slowly getting more and more back into drill work and, and into seven on seven competition with us. Um, it, it, he won't be in a full 11 on 11 in the rest of spring, but uh, uh, he'll be ready to go for the fall. Raymond Epps is a, has been a very much a, uh, uh, a big addition to our tight end room, a much needed addition to our tight end room to provide depth at that position. Uh, he's big, he provides a physical presence, he's very athletic. Uh, we're we're ex very excited to have Raymond here. Uh, he's definitely going to provide a, a, a big hit for us. I mean, I'm, 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 I can't say enough good about Raymond and where he is. Uh, and, and on top of him being a really good football player, he's a better person as well as DJ is, and that's that's really exciting to know as well. Uh, Elijah McQueen is is every bit and more than what we thought he was. Uh, we knew he was a phenomenal player at Terrell, but when you couple that with putting him into a safety position where he's been, uh, he doesn't look like a true freshman out there. He's as sudden and as quick as we've got on our football team. Uh, he's, he loves the game of football. He's passionate about it, but these are three, three big-time players we're excited to have. When you look at uh, some, some of the guys in the yellow jerseys, anyone you, that's, uh might be out for a while or, or at least for the rest of the spring? Or any, well, any yeah, concerning? I mean, we're limiting some guys, um, but uh, just from the, from the standard mode, we've got, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we'll see. We, you know, Xavier Jones will be out for a little bit. Braden will be out a little bit. Uh, but those guys will be back and forth. So we're, we're just we're holding these guys for a little bit. One, just, go ahead. At the beginning of camp, uh, some veteran guys that you, if you challenged any, uh, who are some guys like that who kind of stepped up or ones you especially wanted to see more out of do seven practices so far? Yeah, you know, I think JT Williams is one. You know, junior college transfer that we came in last year from from TV from Trinity Valley and and uh, from Denton Ryan. You know, it was time for him to step up a little bit, and he's had a really good fall or good uh, spring ball. Um, you know, another one, you know, KD, uh, Kadari Smith has been another one that's a red shirt coming off. You know, we've got some young guys again. But here's, here's, the, here's the most exciting thing about all this is we've got a lot of young, a lot of guys on this football team that have played a lot of football for us in, three, in two years. And so when you got that, you know that you're, you're going to continue to improve as a football team. One of the guys who was dinged up some last year and you said it might linger for most of the year was Mason Gentry. Who missed a little bit of time during the season. How's he feeling, and, and what are your expectations for him going into this year? Yeah, Mason has had a, a really pleasant spring to this point. Um, he's moving better than he's ever moved, so that's good to see. Uh, and and uh, he's trimmed down a little bit of his weight, which is which is good. He's obviously we know strength's not an issue with Mason, but. Uh, to see him and, and what he's doing going into his senior year, again, a guy that's played a lot of ball, and uh, when you got a lot of, uh, when you got a guy like that, you got a lot of wisdom and and uh, a guy that knows how to 
to uh, to take care of his body, and that's what you're seeing with Mason right now. And, and uh, he looks as good as I've seen him since we've been here. It's just a little off subject, but um, considering the success Clemson had last year, I was kind of curious what similarities you see, see between your program and Clemson right now in terms of culture. Like, what did you try to? Bring? Yeah, well, very similar. You know, I, I've said this over and over that. Uh, you know, the, the, the pony on our chest has a, has, has a Clemson Tiger paw on it. You know, it, it is. It's, there's a, the blueprint is proven for success. And we, we, when we got there, it was six and seven. And uh, to see the vision that Dabble had, the culture that we were establishing, and to be able to put that same blueprint in place right here, uh, it's here. It's all over here. And uh, it's proven. And so just to see the progress, I've said it before, our first year here, uh, was a tough two and ten. We knew it was going to be a tough year, but we knew we were making a lot of progress. We just weren't quite seeing the outcomes we, that, uh, that, that, that we wanted to see that first year. Last year is like building a house. We started seeing some walls go up, started seeing some sudden improvements, and then it slowed down a little bit. And uh, so this year, going into the year three, we're excited about watching that progress of that watering that Chinese bamboo. You keep watering and watering and watering, you don't understand it. It's really growing, and when it takes off, It'll take off, and that's what I'm excited Dabble to see. got to put his paw on top of the mountain top right now. I know it's kind of a different goal for you at the moment, but like, how close are you to getting that house complete? Well, we're a long way. We, we are. We're a long way, but we're three years into this thing, or two and a half years into it, 28 months to be exact, and uh, a lot, lot of work still ahead, a whole lot of work. Uh, a lot of work from everything, changing a culture, a culture of the university, of, the, of, of football, and and uh, and the building process of this program is it's not going to go away. It's it's uh, I'm passionate about it, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop until we get it done. And uh, I'm excited about the direction these kids are absolutely phenomenal to be around, and uh, that they want it. They they want to make this university extremely proud, and that's what they're doing. Long term, I know. Comes in won a national championship in the 80s, and SMU was competing for a national championship in the 80s. Is there any reason why SMU can't be at the point Clemson is in the years? The culture being built. Well, you know, it's, it's it's one day at a time, but absolutely not. I mean, that's our that's our, our goal, that's our desire to get to that point. We're a long way away, uh, but you're right. In the 80s, there was a lot of similarities. They were at a at a at a, at a level playing field right there, and and uh, for whatever reason uh, or not, one went one way and one didn't. And, and, uh, uh, and it's our job right now to, to, to get that program back and get it going, and, and we're doing that. We're going to win. We're, we're going to win, and, and we're going to keep building this thing and building our brand and, and, uh, and, and changing the culture, and that's what we're doing every day. A bunch of high school visitors in the stands, what do you hope they take away from this program? Well, you know, again, I hope they see the excitement, the energy level. Uh, you know, that's what I want them to understand is that, man, these guys are out here. They're, they're being coached hard. They're having fun. Uh, that, that it's contagious. They want to be a part of it. They want to send their players here to be a part of something special that we're building. If I remember correctly, this is this is the first year in the spring you guys have done kind of some Friday night lights thing. Who's, whose idea was that? And, uh, well, yeah, it's actually our staff. You know, we always brainstorm and things that we could do better as a staff, and this is one of them. And, and uh, I think Coach Fry even brought it up. He said, Coach, let's do something on a Friday night uh, to where we invite the community out, invite some of our students out, and and, uh, and open this thing up. And, and so that's what we're doing tonight. And uh, it's actually been a huge hit. We got over 115, 120 recruits and our parents here. 115 recruits plus their parents. So we got a good crowd tonight and got a lot of former players back. It's, it's good to see. It's good to see uh, Mr. Wood out and, and Zach will be here. We got a lot of our players going to be out here tonight, former players. So, you know, anytime you can bring our former players back and, and uh, get them around our, our, our current guys, it's pretty special. When we talked to you a week or two ago, we talked about the depth that you've got at running back, and now you may also have some more weapons in the passing game. You know what you've got now in James Prochet. Trey Quinn comes over from LSU. Do you anticipate any kind of shift in the balance between run and pass in your offense? I really don't. You know, it's it's uh, you know I want to be as balanced as we possibly can. I, every football team we've been a part of that we've been uh, highly successful at, we've been as close to 50-50 as you can get. Again, you know, it, it, it may change a little bit, but uh, uh, I feel like that the weapons that we have out on the edge are going to open up our run game, and then when you, you load the box to stop the run, we got we got some ability to, to, to put some pressure on people out on the edge. And so, you know, with the addition of Trey Quinn, James Prochet, Myron Gilliard, Kevin Thomas, Cortland something, we got we got a – we finally are building our depth to have a uh, – um, just, just, just several rotations that we're able to get in there. We mentioned, 
mentioned some of the defensive linemen like Mason Gentry and JT Williams. You got a couple of young guys coming up as well, Patrick Jones, Ken McLaurin. How are those guys coming along, and, and how do you see that infusion of young talent boosting your line? Well, Demer Gary is another one. Obviously, Demer played Gary. a lot last year. Right. And, uh, Pat was redshirted, but to see Demerick and the success that he had at times last year, uh, Ken was another redshirt, has a lot of potential, a lot of talent. Uh, he's got a long way to go still, having a really good spring, but uh, continue to work on keeping himself and getting himself into shape. Um, you know, again, those are guys that, that you've got to have. We've got to have depth. You're going to win a championship, you better have some good defensive linemen and to be able to have a rotation of guys. And that's, that's hope. hopefully that's what we're building. Um, you know, and so that's... Uh, yeah, you know, Delante is is another one that's uh, we're, we're we're excited about. He's having a good spring. Hunter Thedford's another one that's uh, it's time. You know, he's into he's going into his third year, and uh, so again, those are some guys that are going to provide some depth for us and and, and take the pressure off of a, a Mason Gentry and take the pressure off of a Justin Lawler.